I'm Dr. Peg Strub, Chief of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, Kaiser Permanente San Francisco, and I'm an Assistant Clinical Professor at the University of California, San Francisco. A subset of patients with asthma will also be allergic to aspirin um, and or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as Motrin or Naprosyn. Um, this subset of patients sometimes will have nasal polyps um, and they may also have um, rhinitis or um, basically symptoms with their noses. Um, anyhow, this subset of patients who are, whose asthma is worse um, when they take aspirin or a non-steroidal um, anti-inflammatory anti drug um, should avoid these medications um, as sometimes they can have a severe asthma flare. Um, however, um, there are medical centers that are actually desensitizing patients um, to aspirin. Um, and actually some of these patients um, by taking the aspirin, um, their asthma is actually improving. Um, this is a specialized um, program that's being offered at certain medical centers um, and is certainly not something somebody would want to do at their home um, as there are patients who have died um, from ingesting aspirin when um, uh, if they are in this category where their asthma is exacerbated with aspirin exposure. Um, but, you know, again, this would be something to speak about with your doctor as this may um, potentially be an option for some patients. I'm Dr. Peg Strub, Chief of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology at Kaiser Permanente Northern California and um, Assistant Clinical Professor at University of California, San Francisco.